Hello, this is Falterfire, and this is going to be probably the last video in this second set of new player deck videos. So let's go run over how the new player deck series works. We have only a handful of generic cards unlocked. We have only a handful of forge upgrades unlocked and uh, characters only level five. Uh, so the idea here is that this is a deck. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to where you can uh, find the deck. And uh, the idea here is that it will be a list of cards that you should be able to put together even if you're fairly new to the game and haven't opened a ton of packs yet. So, uh, name it at level five. So at, at level five, every character unlocks three cards. Card unlocks one, two, five, and eight. Uh, you get six cards at level one and three at each of the other milestones for a total of 15 unique character cards. And there's only counting the 15 that go directly into your deck. Uh, stuff like the Astral cards don't count towards that 15. Uh, but for Naima, the cards you unlock at level 5 are Galactic Blast, uh, which is a 4-mana card. You put 5 cards from your hand into Stasis, and you will deal 80 damage to any enemy. It has retained. Uh, and then you have Eclipse Shield. 4-mana, gain 10 shield. If you are in Moon Stance, you get 4-mana. It transforms into Eclipt Ecliptical Shield, and you keep it in hand. Or Ecliptical Blast, my bad. And Ecliptical Blast is 15 damage to all enemies, and it's a spell. You're in Sun Stance, you gain Spell Wave 2 and transform it into Eclipse Shield. Uh, but the that so I'm not a huge fan of this one. Uh, you do get to keep it in hand, but you would need two stance changes after playing it in order to get to replay it. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna discard it in the end of turn, and when you draw it again, like you have to be able to play it in the correct stance. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that card. Probably not gonna end up running it. Um, but the last card here is Nocturnal Insight, which I am a pretty big fan of. It's just two mana, and we get a Starlight, a Lunar Whispers, or a Ritual of Mind. It will also create one Portent of Conjunction in your discard pile. So. Portent of Conjunction will create a Celestial Conjunction when we draw it, when we play it. And Celestial Conjunction is um, a six cost spell that does 50 damage to any enemy and triggers its burn three times. And then Conjunction will also trigger Wits and Mad Boost three times each, uh, which is pretty nice. And then Nocturnal Insight also can, like the three modes it has is it gets the card that triggers Wits, it gets the card that triggers Mana Boost, and it gets the card that gives us both, which is a pretty good combo. I tend to like going um, like two incandescent rituals to help set up and then like one nocturnal insight to use it. And that's probably what we are going to do here. So unfortunately, uh, we don't have a ton of pieces that we would like to support Naema, uh, since I have not unlocked any additional cards for this uh, series. And so I didn't unlock any additional generic cards rather. So we are fairly limited in what we can do. Uh, I do think I am going to go with the Inkin Ritual plan. Uh, so we're going to go two Incandescent Rituals. Uh, we're going to go with a Nocturnal Insight. And then we're going to figure out what else we're doing. So, hmm. Treasure Hunt is actually okay here because it will help us set up, because there is now a treasure that will give us um, Wits and Mana Boost. Which makes this an okay Wits Mana Boost source. Uh, we do want, I think, Read This Guys. Because that is... We don't have level 10 passive that let us just naturally get Astral Cards. And we would like to have access to Astral Cards. We want Focuses. We want two New Moons. Um, we probably want at least one more Mana Card, actually. Hmm. I'm deciding if I want to go Heavy Stand or not. Because without level 10 passive, I find maintaining uh, tough to be di more difficult. So I think we're going to run that. Although it is expensive, which is a big downside here. Uh, this is a deck that can struggle, that may struggle with mana. Especially to begin with. Once we get uh, growth set up, we're fine. But it's getting that growth and mana boost set up that can be difficult. Especially on the first few turns. Uh, so I think we're going to run Resolute Focus to hopefully help with that. Actually, no, we're going to run one Predict, because that'll just give us three mana. Well, Predict can, can mess us up with Focus, though. So we're going to go Resolute Focus. Okay, so you may notice that we don't have much in the way of damage. So how are we winning? The answer is we are either getting very slow with Burn off of Incandescent Ritual, via spells off of Read Disguise, or using uh, a port the creation of Important of Conjunction from Nocturnal Insight. This is not going to be a fast deck, though, so... Um, I apologize in advance uh, for how slow this is likely going to end up being. 
So as far as the card pool goes, Ring Blast and Untable Blast are both probably good. Arcane Silence. Uh, Star Atlas is very expensive, but I would like to be able to use it. We'll see if that ends up coming to pass. I want Dry Galactic Blast. I don't know that, that we'll be able to do anything with it, but it's worth a shot. Actually, do we need Arcane? Yeah, I like Arcane Silence. It's still just Arcane Detonations, which is nice. And then... Um, Legendary Strike. Because when in doubt, just add cards. And Magic Cannon. These are all cards. Cards that have words on them. Words that cause effect when you play the cards. Mana Blast is usually pretty good. Mana Ritual is pretty good. Um, Renewing Ray. Rune Trance could be useful. We'll see. Uh, Battle Glory could be useful. Just kind of putting cards in the deck, you know. You just gotta, you just gotta run cards. If you play cards, eventually you'll win. That's how this game works. I don't think we can make Solar Amp work. Shilling Bolt is a definite maybe. Um, Sorcerer's Secretion is a card that is not actually tier 1 unlocked, but I have it because I had to open... At the time, there wasn't a number of tier 1 cards divisible by 3, so I can't include it. Uh, because of the restrictions that I've set for myself. Uh, I don't think we want Celestial Bolt. It is better than it used to be, but I don't think it's what we're looking for here. I could see us taking a phase grace though. Um. Hmm. I don't think we actually want all seeing eye. Future slide is very expensive, but we'll see what we can do with it. Mind shield is fine, I guess. Stone skin is fine. Did I put that stone skin in? Am I blind? Do we not? There it is. Stone skin. There we go. And so that is, I don't know, that's cards. I think that's a, an accurate description of what this deck is doing. That seems pretty, uh, no, this is the most name uh, card back, so we can go with that one. <clears throat> And here we go. And so, because this is a new player deck series, I am not using the market. I'm also not using the shrine. Uh, between the two areas, hmm, I'm not sure actually. Fest Goliath doesn't really drop any cards we want. I guess Mushroom Forest has some spells that I would like to have. Um, we are fighting Maw, so having access to Cleanse would be good. Um, but the early areas don't help us a ton with that. Although, Arcane Elemental's drop card that we would like to have. Ruby Dragon. We are generating some amount of burn, so I wouldn't be opposed to a Fiery Presence. Yeah, seems like a plan. Okay, so we could just go events almost all the way up, which is probably not a great plan, so we do not have a way to actually win. But... That'll be fine. We'll do it live. <clears throat> I guess we just do that. So we are going to take a burn tech here. I mean, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but... Oh, right, because of the vulnerable we take a little bit more than I thought we were. We now have plenty of mana boots, which is nice. We don't actually have a spell to draw, huh? Makes that a little more awkward. Could run to that Rethus, guys, but I don't really want to. I think we just Sunbolt. That'll effectively kill that. 
Honestly, I'm probably getting more burnout here, even if we don't actually get any other value. Sunbolt is always a way to win when you need one. All right, again, Lunar Whispers for mana. We can set up Purity, which means that when we explode here, we will not be deep, we won't be whatever. And then we will be dispelled, and then we can also do the other thing. So that is one trick with Naam is that if you have two incandescent rituals and you want two purity, you have to play both the rituals first, or otherwise the second ritual will take away your purity. Uh, so just have to sequence that correctly. Uh, we're going to try and Starfall. Oh, right. We actually, it was knowable what we were going to get. Um, change my mind. We're drawing some cards. All right. Final answer, Celestial Conjunction. All right, <clears throat> Arcane Evolution. All right, we are fighting Mushroom, so it will be useful in the short term. So I think we do take it. It's also gonna be very good against Maw. So that's two reasons to, to take it. All right, Incandescent Rituals, upgrading those means that they give us growth six when we play the uh, Ritual of Metal, which is incredibly good. Uh, we are gonna go, or Ritual of Mind, rather. Metal is the shield one. That also just means we get a lot more shield off the shield. Could go right here. That would get us an elite fight. Left would give us a... to be an impaling... Um, not this one. It's the other warbot. It's this It's this warbot. So it would be <clears throat> these two cards. Um, I don't think either of them are really what we're looking for. So I'm just going to go left. And you can tell because of the art. So, all right. We did get the free upgrade, which is great. So now we have two upgraded incandescent rituals, which is going to make life better. Uh, I could go here. The main thing I'd be looking for here is uh, Ink Scarlet Incantation. We've already gotten two really good events, which makes the value of another event lower. There's at least one event here which is just like going to be a forced fight, which is going to be pretty bad. Hardened Shell has retained. I don't think that's enough to make me want to take it, but I guess it's okay. Mighty Punch is pretty good. I think there's enough potential upside here. Let's Starfall and see what we find. I was hoping to see, honestly. Star falling again doesn't get us anywhere. But we could star light. Right. Um, not really what I was hoping to see here as far as that goes, but it could be worse. So I want to block the arcane leak here. Uh, which is the thing that that thing does when it does Arcane plus debuff. We will want that next turn. Hey, that was exactly what I was hoping to see. <clears throat> we wouldn't hate having a little bit of healing here. Uh, we aren't taking a ton of damage, but just being able to counteract the, the burn text would be nice. And now we can usefully get rid of the Vulnerable, which will decrease the damage that we're taking here. Oh, and we can get Tough Out, which I should have done sooner, but... That would have been planning. All right. Hopefully next turn we can uh, Starfall for value. It's a little more damage than I was expecting to take. Alright, we cannot Starfall. Because we don't have the card to do it, and we are, we don't have level ten passes, we just guarantee that we always have uh, the thing that we want. Let's draw some cards. So now we can Starfall, but there's no guarantee we will actually hit. That's a pretty anemic Starfall. We're just going to go Shield here. But we do know guaranteed that next turn we will be able to um, do the thing that we want to do.
which is that we can sunbolt for value. Hmm. These guys are dying to burn text though, so we might be actually better off just going for shield. Because that'll give us enough that we can Lunar Whispers. I'm going to change stances so we can get extra shield out. Let's kill you. And then we will just gain shield this way. So we're not going to take any damage. And then they're just both going to die to burn text, which works out for us. So you don't need a plan, you just need a Naima. Uh, 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 sure. So, unfortunately, the Arcane Evolution is kind of something we want next turn after we've gotten debuffed, but... Say la vie. Oh, we don't have a weak source either, I'm realizing now. Man, I'm kind of crap at this whole planning thing, aren't I? Let's start falling, see if we get anything of value. Sure. It's not the most efficient thing to do, but I really want to get... Actually, it was maybe a mistake, because we are now losing health. In my head, we weren't going to lose health there, because I didn't bother to count how much the leak was going to do. Locking out a turn is always nice. So the reason that I didn't think about weak is that normally I would have um, my precious pocket sand, which is just not a card that we have access to here. So. Scarlet Reflection. I'm going to change stance. And then, boom. I didn't even know that was going to actually just outright kill, but I will take it, obviously. Uh, Starless is really expensive, but it's also a way to end the game, so we'll take it. Then we want to upgrade it immediately. It makes it cheaper, which makes it a little lot easier to use. Um, and then I don't really want to cut anything yet. Treasure Hunt is maybe worth cutting, but eh, it's fine for now. Um, this does not make... This kind of makes Starless easier to use. And Shadow Blast is pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we can play that, and because I want this to flip. So we get to do this, which is going to put us up to exactly enough to do that. Which enables that, which means this is now online. It doesn't quite kill, but it certainly does good work. And then we will do this to set up some growth letter for next turn. I should have just played that because I could have killed this outright. Instead of just going to live at one. Man, I really want to play that, but playing this feels like it has to be correct. So let's set it up. 
Let's just delete a problem. Get additional shield. And just for good measure, we're going to start falling. Hope that it does something. That'll do. We don't have the Naima level 7, so we can't just always see exactly what's on top of the deck, unfortunately. Which is a thing that I kind of rely on a bit when I'm playing Naima normally. That's not bad, but I think Celestial Vision is going to do more for us. The next fight could kill us. That fight, the um, Shadowberry fight can be just a major pain in the ass. Um, but I'm going to choose to hope that uh, it all goes well. Especially with them. Because, like, look at this. This is two detonations and Arcane Leak on turn one. And I think those guys hand out, like, you know, Infinity Powerful or something. Um... I just do that so that I have the extra growth so that when I explode this turn I get to keep whatever. Okay, that's curse, not, not cookie wars, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna play that next turn, I think. I don't think I can play this. Th <sighs> hmm. I'm okay playing that this turn. I think I need to play that. I can't play it this turn. Oh, but if I play that this turn, we explode, which is uh, not great. Do not know what this is going to do for us. I do want to change stances, though, I think. Just because... Um, being in Sun Stance uh, means that we'll be in Moon Stance next turn, and I think we're going to need it. You can see kind of what I mean about this fight, just kind of getting out of control, though. We're going to explode. We're going to get extra shield here, so. Fortunately, uh, that Garot did okay work to help us weaken down that front one, although Lifesteal obviously undid a lot of our work. All right, so we do this. You're gone. Okay, that could have been a whole lot worse. The number of focus is okay. It'll do good work with that one thing. Um... God, Haunted Flask is incredibly good. Minbot? This could end up being a realm where Minbot ends up being relevant, unfortunately. So that's because we burned a rest on getting that upgrade. We don't have as many rests. Right, that's not useful for us to have this turn. Alright, I think we have to just turn this into shield.
taking. Damage. Fortunately, it uses up all of our mana boost. But. Fifty fifty shot at mana on top of the draw pile. I don't think it's worth rolling the dice there. We're gonna end turn. I wanna have these half moons up so we can start getting mana boost. I still kinda like to have some amount of healing here. messing up because I keep thinking I'm gonna starfall things but then I keep having the top card of the draw pile be uh what should I call it I those guys do die at least um but now this turn could be a problem if we can't get the kill we may be able to get the kill though. We will see. Okay, good. I was too lazy to do the math, but it all worked out. Uh, legendary strike is just a low effort way to get some value. I like value. Um, I think treasure hunt's probably gonna go. It's just too awkward. I like New Moon Plus. It's extra mana, extra mana boost. And we're just going to cut the treasure hunt. Alright. So, this is kind of what I wanted to see. I want to get a Gleaming Aegis. Um, I don't hate Elemental Strike. It'd be pretty okay to pick up. Um, and then we're just going to go here because the Silgas are going to be easier to kill and they're going to drop us things that we want more. Pretty much a waste, but I mean the, the invincible is a waste, but whatever. Oh, I messed up a little bit here. Yeah, I do want to create a port of conjunction, I think. But I've really messed up this turn because I could have had shield and I didn't. But hey, that's why I did the thing with the stuff. Uh, getting our candle pollution back would not be useful to us. I mean, that wasn't originally my plan, but I'll take it. Gains evasion. He's going to try and summon next turn. So we are going to have to deal with a summon next turn. Bye. In its awkward position of not being able to actually 
do what we want to do, really. So we don't have great ways to deal with evasion, but that should be fine. Sanctuary. It's hard to pass up. Especially going into Ruby Dragon. So you can go both directions here. This technically could turn into healing, but this fight also is just more likely to body us. Um, either way, we do end up getting these fights. Uh, we're going to rest and I think risk this. Devourer Truck would be kind of okay to have. Honestly, the other one I also don't hate having. Getting a card draw trinket is great. Always nice to have a break glass in case of emergency button. By emergency, I mean right away. In my head, I've done this. <clears throat> it's not the first time I've done this where I thought I was in a different stance. Uh, because as it's loading in, uh, it takes it a moment to, to figure out what stance you're in. Give this extra tough. Let's see, just work. Fine. Not the most useful thing just to get all that defense up, but I really like having defenses up. We are absolutely just going to do this, because uh, I need the shield. Or I need the uh, purity, because I don't want to be bleeding next turn. Probably overkill, but I like having a lot of sturdy. I should have just changed stance there, I wasn't thinking. Problem is we have not yet set up um, you know the key card that we need. The celestial conjunction. There we go. Oh we do, we do have one. I thought we didn't have any yet, but we actually have one. Turns out, one is all you need. Um, Battle of Glory is probably the one that is the healing I want. We can't actually force draw as much as I would like, but that's fine. Do that. Very happy to see that. That turns on Rune Trance. Fine saving that for now. Though I like abusing this bleed for as long as we can, I guess. Which, this is about the end of it. Because I don't want to... Well, I guess I can do that. But I really should just take time to set up here. Because, like, this guy... The only defense that that guy sets up is... Um, Whatchamacallit. There's a thing that's not going to affect is plated, which like four plated is gonna do nothing against our celestial uh whatchamacallums. So
Alright, we're not full, uh... Full grub. We have plenty of mana boost and wits. We can get critical and mighty. And you may be wondering, like, how am I going to pay for that? And the answer is, like that. Easy kill. And Shocking Focus is a very good mana card that I'm happy to have. And we're going to go with it. Another one where, like, I would probably take either of the cards being offered here. Um, do that one. This isn't perfect, uh, but I really like having the first Celestial Conjunction set up. Even if it isn't, we are going to lose all of our value here. Means this turn is not going to be the best. That's fine. Unfortunately, do explode again. And in this turn, we would really like to have purity, but we will see if that is in the cards. Looks like we will get some purity. All right, we can get both purity. So we really don't want to be uh, arcane leak. Do this to make the uh, starfall free. So the other thing here is like if I play this, I just have to go for purity because. We lose purity by playing it. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just get one of them. And we're going to explode a little bit, but that's fine. So I got distracted by Discord surprise. Uh, yeah, that seems a little risky, especially because like the next fights we're going into. This fight could be a pain in the butt. We'll see. That turn one is nice. Just get out. Just do that so we can do that for free. That's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good starfall, but uh, not the most useful star atlas. I think we save the mana because we know we're drawing star atlas next turn. Hmm. Second thought, I think we are kind of dedicated to. Um, set up here, which unfortunately means no uh, Star Atlas. This is where things get a little dicier. That helps, although it won't help us avoid getting Arcane Blasted.
Oh, wait. No, we get one period from that and we get another period from this. Just kidding, we're fine. So if we don't get shocked, we don't get arcane de uh, dusted, which is good. And this turn isn't going to be the most miserable thing ever. Like, it, it could be better, obviously, but... It could also be a whole lot worse. It's very good to see, because now we will have multiple conjunctions. Just kidding, this turn's going to be great. Um, all right, um, I don't know, Second Star Atlas, uh, seems not worth it. So, Elder Strike is very good, but it has the problem of, um, only lasting for one turn. I think Unstable Blast does more for us in this particular list. Uh, let's take that. And we're going to upgrade... Hmm. I think Battle Glory Plus make it a lot easier to play. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. This is why I should not have Discord open while I am recording videos. Uh, but where's the fun in that? So I don't really want to remove anything. I think we're just moving on. And then... This fight could be tough, but I really would like that Gleaming Aegis. Just do that. Unfortunately, we do still explode, which means that we are not going to be at... Um, we're not going to be at uh, 6 growth. Quite impolite. We can do that because I think we're going to play at least four more cards this turn, so. I'd like to go double period here, but I don't think I can justify it. And then I'm just going to do this, with the idea being that we are going to explode, but we're going to protect at least some of our buffs, hopefully. Yeah, okay, we're only going to explode one more time. As soon as we do get to untap with uh, buff growth. This, which gets us technically plus one mana. And that does get us purity. So I do think I still want to do that. So if you're going to. Oh, we don't actually quite explode here. I thought we would. But I forgot to account for decaying by one. We are going to lose tough here, which means that this guy is hitting very hard. Oh, we are still tough. I lied. But we still just need the extra shield, I think. That is going to get rid of the port of conjunction, but we have two whatevers, so... I think it's going to be fine. Definitely a very different character we don't have. <clears throat> we don't have the level 10 to just guarantee an astral card every turn.
So we can now draw a card, which we knew was going to be a Celestial Conjunction. Oh, we need more uh, mana boost. That is not going to kill our problems. But a Sunbolt will go away. Let's do that. Okay, we explode here, but I uh, like one health. And in this turn, we should be able to finish off. Hopefully, and if not this turn, then next turn. Get conjunctivitis. Uh, Gleaming Aegis is really nice. It is another source of purity. Love me some purity. I uh, will take that over the Minbot. We now have enough healing that I don't really think we need the Minbot anymore. Um, we'll just stick to the stuff we got. Okay. This is a fight that we've already done once. Uh, this version is more difficult a little bit because we do now have a summon to deal with, but it's not that much harder. Too concerned about not playing that? Yep. Alright, good. I didn't get punished for banking on finding mana. Let's do both. like looping that. Right, we are not going to get shocked because we are too pure for that. I like where we're at as far as being able to beat Maw goes. Um, fine with that thing with the uh, dork setting up because all right we still have critical and mighty we still have purity I do. I guess that's not going to matter. We're still summon for that as well. Bye. Letting us have setup turns was a mistake. Um, I don't hate just having mental growth. We are able to consume quite a lot of mana boost. As we've seen. So this fight. Um, so this fight.
That's the only arcane we're going to take in the fight aside from uh, our friend's card, so I'm not too worried about it. We are going to end up setting ourselves very much on fire, which is a bit of a concern. But we also have ways to uh, mitigate that, so... Like so. Because uh, the Wyvern does damage based on how much burn we have. Or the, the Wyvern, the uh, Ruby dra Dragon. I said Wyvern because it's called uh, Worm, because my brain is broken. That's why. There's no other reason, it's just my brain is broken. Uh, uh. Play this. We don't get to play that. So we may as well play that, I guess. We don't quite get the summon. doing this we don't actually get to reduce the cost which is probably a mistake but yeah you can see like we got rid of a lot more burn so we end up taking not much damage the other note here is as soon as this guy gets down uh to a bit less health uh it will we will have to deal with drakes a bit less health i mean now i figure we may as well flip the drakes while we are in uh whatever mug Oh, we are uh, in invincible, indestructible, whatever the word is. Fine, dividing out that shield. The drakes are a bit of a problem because we do not have answers to that evasion. As we have seen in the past. However, however, the drakes are not really our main concern. go Starlet Reflection. And we just do that. And now we aren't on fire. We are going to be on fire again, but we briefly won. Yeah, may as well do that. You're not actually going to attack us for zero because we have used up all of our burn. It's not even going to attack because we aren't on fire. Draw some cards. Let's get critical and mighty set up again. Then we're going to go into... Actually, no. I don't want to go into Spell Stance. Because I just want to... Um, try and Starfall to get more damage... More AoE out. No luck. Because that was not a damage card. Ah, but I could have played that. I just thought I was out of the ability to do that. Well, it's fine. Um, just get security back for next turn. They are both targetable. And I'm just doing that for a Starlet Reflection, which ensures that we can just Rune Trance twice. Not really, we can uh, just conjunction twice. 
Uh, sure. So, this is where we're going to reroll and we're going to take Fiery Presence, which will let us cash in all the burn that we can set up. And then if we upgrade this, it just makes it cheaper to play, which I don't think is the most useful thing. I think getting extra period out of Gleamy Aegis could be useful. And then we may not need Arc Arcane Ablution, but I don't like cutting that when we're going into Maw. Again, like I just, I like our cards. They're pretty good. We might be a little overkill on Mana Boost right now, uh, but we can kind of fix that by just letting uh, whatever moon transform, which I just never bother with. I think we're gonna go up left side. take a little bit of damage here but we're gonna be able to atlas again next turn just atlas for additional value Good enough. Don't love that we didn't get to, get to conjunction there, but. Opportunist is getting set up again. This is never my favorite thing. Hmm. In my head here, I was going to just spam Starfalls, but I guess that's not actually that good, is it? You know what, we're going to get one Starfall. Because then we're going to make the things in hand free. Can't actually play that. Take a little bit of damage here, but it's not too bad. Oh, just kidding. We, we had a chance of taking real damage there because of the crits. I think about the fact that because it was only a chance of crit, it didn't just show us the crit number. Also, unfortunately, we do not have a way to guarantee that hit, but we got lucky. It only took us a couple hits. It only took us two tries. We do have a third try lined up, just in case. Honestly, we don't really need these. Reroll, take. Renewing Ray, I guess. Probably cut the Renewing Ray later. Uh, that gives us so much growth. I don't think we need more. I don't hate getting Astrocard Plus out. We also have enough mana boost now that upgrading Unstable Blast is actually potentially a thing we can do. 
it's something I tend to shy away from because it needs additional mana boost. I know there's still the awkward thing where it's like, two is the same number that like mental growth makes. It's the same number that um, ritual makes. I think this means we get harvest plus, which is pretty good. That seems fine. I have to deal with two of these jerks. Things are getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. That story's not really doing a ton for us right now, but it's the principle of the thing. Can I ask you what principle that is? You're just the principle of the thing. Always forgetting about that part of things. Instead of heavily standing, which is maybe what I should have done. So normally this would be a bad idea, but because we're invincible this turn, or, uh, yeah, it is invincible to name of it, we can just... We just laugh off everything they're trying to do to us. Let's see, Opportunist is still up. And that won't do anything for us. So I think... damage here. Alright, opportunist is gone. Hooray! It's gonna start reflection here, I think. And I'm just gonna need extra shield here. Gonna set up again, which is really impolite. Second, somebody is pinging me. All right. Um, Astral Focus is fine. Cleansing Shield is pretty good. Shield is kind of something we are short on, it's like just straight up shield gain. Uh, but Persecute would be able to get weak. I think we just take the shield, Cleansing Shield. Could take this fight, but I honestly think we're just going to go event. Um, meh. That'll be kind of a good test, just because, like, if this fight goes poorly, that means that we are absolutely going to die tomorrow. Because uh, this is, like, the fake... This, this is the, the baby fight. The baby version of the Maw fight. This is, like, Maw fight, but we, we trained it wrong on purpose as a joke. And I could get Puri set up here, but I just don't care. Although, as is tradition, we drew most of our cleanse on turn one. Um. I 
We have two skin draw cards here. Do that. We can starfall it, do it again. I don't even technically speaking need to, but we can. And cleanse again this turn if we want to. Yeah, which generation is definitely kind of the problem here. We don't need that extra shield. I would like purity, but I think we have one or two more turns until the doom comes out. Yeah, we have two more turns to kill that front one until we get before we are doomed. It is unfortunately not going to let us play that out. That's fine. That's it. I think next turn we will hopefully get to do some damage. Maybe not, but you know, it's good to live in hope. Done that first, technically. Right, so we are going to be doomed, but you have a few turns before the doom is going to pop, so. We're still not in trouble. We're closer to being in trouble. Don't get me wrong. But we're not in trouble. Yeah. This is the last thing we wanted to see. Should have considered solar flaring, I guess. Curse here, but who cares? Oh no. Alright. There we go. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, so that fight was slow, but it was easy. So I think we can take corrupted font even. Uh, I think the Renewing Ray is just messing up our draw through with the things that we want, so. It's gone. Um, I think Fire Presence being cheaper is fine. And we're just going to go through here. I would like to have clear focus. Uh, I would like to just take events. This is obviously proving to be, I think... Not quite our longest yet, but it is absolutely not short. This guy, I guess, could also be a problem. Because not this next turn, but the turn after, uh, this guy's going to try and really ruin our day. He has, like, infinity damage. The thing that we're about to copy here, by the way, is uh, these conflict rates are not temporary. 
they are removed, but they're not temporary, which means we get to copy them with the uh, Scarlet Reflection. In case you were curious why I was doing that. So this is going to lead to us taking um, some poison, but it's a relatively minor amount. Let me get some bolt that out of existence, which makes our life easier. So this turn here is where uh, we could have a problem. Especially if we get a hand like this. Shield set up now. So that we're just going to tank that 40 damage hit. Not a problem. To deal with phase two of this, but for some reason I'm not particularly concerned. And we just can kill with the bleed. Fight. Yeah, once we get going, uh, this is another wit source, which is kind of where our weakness is. I don't think our cane is a major, major concern. It's a little bit boring. Oh, the card draw here is pretty nice. I'm going to take the card draw because it's cheap and it's a lot of card draw. That's probably not going to matter much, although it could make us get a shock out of that one thing. Uh, we don't need a second uh, of the thing that we can get from that. All right, that means like the arcane is completely not a problem. And, so, and then it only costs one mana. Uh, I like that. That seems okay. You're running out of like super high value. Because like I, I just don't... I don't like upgrading astral cards because I, I don't like... Uh, even if it's silly, the risk of not being able to use the one thing. Uh, so the purity is... I don't think we need it. And we'll get a clear focus from this fight. Oh, we don't have a card there yet. Just generates mana. Only one mana, but still, mana shocks everything. Which is fun. And let's go and get extra shield here, because we are taking incoming damage. And we just narrowly avoid getting our cane blasted here, which is nice. I don't even realize that we're shocking ourselves. That was a bit dumb of me.
unfortunately, the new mood is going to transform. But fortunately, these other guys aren't going to deal as much damage because we're no longer shocked. Although that... I thought one did more damage because I didn't realize it had the powerful, of course. Um, that guy's a jerk. Hmm. I wanted to play that, but I don't think I could justify it. When we have this much incoming damage. Fortunately, the uh, mana we just created gets stolen. Mighty and polite. All right, we have that much incoming damage, but we were invincible. I'm very smart. The trick is that you draw a bunch of cards, and then they are none of them useful to you. It's not going as well as I would like, but that's fine. It's fine. Fortunately, I'm kind of priced into doing that, I think. Fortunately, we are now taking way more damage than I would like. Hopefully we can avoid taking any more damage. This is also the last fight before the boss, so... It's maybe not quite as dire as it might look. Alright. Fortunately we got the crit there. I was kind of hoping for that, that we'd do enough damage to um, draw back whatever so we get that little bit of extra healing. Okay. Clear focus is great. That's fine. Cutting cards takes thinking. Thinking is hard. Thinking is bad. And we can rest. And again, removing cards requires thinking, which is just not worth the trouble. There's no reason not to rest, by the way. I just don't. Because it's kind of a point of pride. <laughs> You know, if I don't have to rest. Completely avoid taking any damage here. I guess I could go ahead and play this. Go to Sunstance for the extra damage buff. Rip, looks like, uh... Not gonna get to do everything I wanted to do here. That's fine. We're gonna get the uh, we want to get this half moons flip, and we are invincible. So, I should let's just do absolutely nothing for us, but that's okay. okay I just want the more wits. Oh no. 
Good show slashes do have the bit of just like drawing back the uh whatchamacallit that Not really what I was looking to see. I don't hate just spamming this a couple times. Getting that. Stacking our whatever buff. No Star Atlas, unfortunately. Uh, but. We were just completely out of uh, wits. Bonk. Now we're not debuffed. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, dominant mob fight so far like we aren't winning quickly but we are winning a lot if that makes sense if that doesn't make sense um i don't care i stand by it more oh shadow race right okay sometimes get mixed up on the order of stuff here I want to uh, Starlet Reflection. That. You more spell weave out. Just for funsies. And so yeah, that's not gonna be lethal, but... And we can't crit right now. And that'll do. And so, yeah, that is, uh, Naima, doing Naima things, Naima ishly. I don't even know how to explain to you what this deck does, but it works. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to title it. You'll know how I've titled this video. Uh, see you next time. Uh, next video is going to be back to my normal save. I don't know what I'm going to be playing yet because that requires planning ahead. See you for that one. Toodles.